So here we have a BMW 116 diesel um, and a key has been lost um, for the car. So all we're going to do today is disable that key and I'm just going to take you through um, how how we do it basically through through Vista. Um, so I had a message saying that uh, this person's misplaced the key somewhere in the house or at their place of work and they can't find it and they just wanted a, a fix of so that no one can drive the car away if they ever get hold of the car. So all I'm going to do now is just run a quick diagnostics test on the vehicle and then go and disable that key. So the customer does have a spare key um, in their possession which is what I'm using today to uh, get the ignition started etc but what we're going to do is we're actually going to disable the other key on here Now I've already done it but I'm just going to show you um, where the option for that menu is and how it works so I'm just going through here just doing its little little tests through everything um, and we'll see what it comes up with um, obviously I've already done this but uh, just for the purposes of, of how it works and how we do it we'll just do a full diagnostics and you can see on there it's come up with nothing in the fault memory so to get this um, function you go into vehicle management service functions into body and um, just wait for it to pull up all the bits and bobs and there'll be um, the locking mechanism function in here which is what we're going to go into once it's all sorted I'm being a bit quick but um, just wait for that to pop open there it is and then once we're on there we want to go into locking and security functions come down here and then into the remote ignition key and just block and enable so two options on there we want to block and enable a remote key so what this will do also is if the if the person finds the key you can then um, re-enable that one key so that it's easy enough just reactivated and you'll be able to start the car with it as well on here so as you can see down here Current remote key number, remote key status, block remote key, teach an additional remote key, enable a block remote key, or just end it on there. And you can do a test of the battery as well if you wanted to. So all I did was block remote key on here. Click continue. And it gives you a bit of guidance just here as well as to what you need to do and what needs to be done. Like I said, I've already done it, so it's not a problem on there. So we need to determine the number of the lost faulty key by reading out the other memory keys so they'll be read out like that and we can just click continue on here and so you can see on there this is the remote key which has been recognized so it's remote two but we want to obviously disable remote one so all we'll do is we'll go into continue service function And we can put on here a remote key one to be blocked. Obviously, we've already done it for this uh, for this person today, so I'm not going to go ahead with that. But literally, all you, all you do is pop it in there, click continue, and follow it through, and it's all sorted. And in terms of re-enabling it again, it'll just be going through the same bit. So let's say if this person finds their key, all we need to go into is enable blocked remote key, put in the number of the one that's blocked and it'll re-enable it and it'll be able to start the car again. Any questions or if you need this doing for whatever reason, drop me a message and we can go through it.